Oh my god, the blood. Five years ago, Square Enix set out to create a new trilogy of Tomb Raider games. Ones that portray the protagonist Lara Croft as a more realistic woman with a taste for adventure rather than a booty short wearing badass with dual wielding pistols. The third installment, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, continues this trend and results in what may possibly be the best entry in this new trilogy. However, it certainly isn't the best when it comes to the story, a feature that was even lacking in the last game, Rise of the Tomb Raider. A missed opportunity to call these sequels Dawn of the Tomb Raider and War for the Tomb Raider. Though the story this time is better than the one from Rise, it certainly has trouble giving Lara a consistent identity. Is she a fierce fighter who is still coping with the events from the first game, or is she a brutal and merciless killer with no trouble mowing down enemies? Your guess is as good as mine. This time around, Lara is continuing her battle against the organization Trinity, who this time are trying to steal yet another artifact that could change the world as we know it. If that sounds cliche, that's because it is. However, the real charm from this story comes in at about halfway through the game during an intense turning point. It still doesn't come close to the simplicity of the first game, but it certainly is an improvement from Rise. Still, the best thing about Shadow of the Tomb Raider is its gameplay. Now I love adventure games, especially those in the Metroidvania genre, and I also love pretty graphics. Luckily, Shadow of the Tomb Raider has both of those things, which results in a happy me. Seriously though, the game benefited from its South American setting. It is by far the most gorgeous locale in the entire trilogy, with loads of color also aided by the 4K HDR on the PS4 Pro. Now before you call me a graphically elitist douchebag, just know that our writer Josh, who reviewed the game on our website, played this on the Xbox One S and thought the very same thing. Where the gameplay lacks, however, is in its combat. It's extremely easy to upgrade your weapons, but even without the upgrades, I can't help but feel like I'm cheating during these fights. It's more fun to cover yourself in mud and pick off these bad guys one by one. Keep in mind, I played this game with normal on all the settings. That's right, you can adjust the difficulty of the combat, puzzles, and exploration separately. Combat can be made much more easy while the white paint telling you where to climb disappears. I'm thinking I'll start a hard playthrough with New Game Plus that unlocks immediately after you beat the main story. If there's anything you should know about my gaming preferences, it's that I enjoy ones with tons of exploration. Naturally, Shadow of the Tomb Raider contains just that with loads of tombs and crypts to explore, rewarding you with exclusive upgrades you wouldn't be able to unlock through the regular means. Unlocking tool upgrades while progressing through the story will also allow you to unlock hidden pathways that previously couldn't be explored. You know, typical Metroidvania. During her adventure, Lara will arrive at different settlements, where people seem to speak English with really no explanation whatsoever. You can change the language settings in the options menu, but it somehow makes even less sense after that. I understand. Okay, are we watching Star Wars? What's even going on here? These settlements will also give you some side missions that vary from rescuing people or simple fetch quests. Unfortunately, I encountered far more fetch quests than not. I've also seen a fair amount of glitches, though most of them visual and not game-breaking, with the huge exception of one glitch that prevented me from progressing in the main story. This, thankfully, was fixed before the game even launched, which is, uh, why this video review is late. Sorry! In the end, Shadow of the Tomb Raider turned out to be one of my absolute favorite games from this year. Sure, it's far from perfect, and one of my friends described it as a glitchier Uncharted, but as a fan of exploration in video games, this was like crack cocaine to me. With gorgeous environments and plenty of tombs to explore, Shadow of the Tomb Raider left me entertained from beginning to end. If this marks the end of the trilogy, then they couldn't have ended it any better. For a full written review, head on over to NukeTheFridge.com. Ah!